Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge Circle. This video is about the exam preparation and strategy of ICSC Computer Application 2024. In this video, we'll discuss how we have to prepare for examination, what kind of questions will come, what is the new pattern, and how can we score 100 out of 100. Okay, so first of all, we have to understand one thing that computer paper is not same as the other question papers. How? Let us discuss about it. First of all, we know that the paper of computer is of 100 marks. We are talk discussing here about theory paper. How the mark is displayed on the report card that we need to understand first. See, internal mark is also 100 and theory paper is also of 100 marks. So whatever you have received in internal, which is already uh, sent to the council before the examination only by the school and theory mark is of 100. So both marks will be added and it will be divided by two. Basically, it will be the average of internal and theory and that will be given. So now we are coming back to the question paper pattern. There are some changes by uh, the council in the pattern of the paper. So we'll begin with C. We know that our question paper has two sections, section A and section B. Section A is of 40 marks where all questions are compulsory. There are two questions in question uh, section A, that is question number one and two. In question number one, there will be 20 sub questions these all questions will be multiple choice questions. First of all, we'll talk about uh, the multiple choice questions, which is very, very important to us. See, these MCQs are based on the following topics that we are going to discuss. Based on the concept of Java, different concept of Java, OOP principles, data type, the type, data type, their size, range. Okay, the operators, precedence, wrapper classes, auto boxing, unboxing and uh, string class and maths class methods so these are the topics on which mcqs will be based yes something new is here which is introduced by council this year that is what picture based and assertion reason questions there will be one picture based question uh, in mcq and assertion reason two questions will be based on assertion reason so that is something new that we have to prepare already i have made picture based question and assertion reason questions video there is a separate video on my channel you can visit and you can watch that video that can be very fruitful for you and one more thing that in mcqs also output based questions and odd one out questions can be asked odd one out questions means there will be four option and uh, out of four there will be one particular option which will be different from others so that kind of questions can be asked so these are the different types of question which can be asked in mcq uh, let's move towards the second question. Now let's talk about the question number two of section A, which will have 10 sub questions. Each question carries two marks. So this question is very important to us because each question is of two mark and there are variety of questions in this. What kind of questions can be asked in this uh, question? Let's talk about it can be uh, postfix and prefix increment decrement that is plus plus and minus minus based one expression will be given and we have to predict the output there can be a question for converting formula into a uh, equivalent java expression or java expression will be given you have to write the formula conversion of for to while or while to for conversion of if else to switch or switch to if else it can also be possible the conversion of if else to ternary or ternary to if else fixing the code this was something new uh, which we have seen in the sample paper also means if there there will be a snippet and uh, we have to depict the error in that and we have to correct the error and there can be a question where we have to depict the error and we have also to tell that what is the type of error as we know that there are three types of error that is what syntactical error compile uh, that is also known as compilation error logical error and runtime error so we have to tell the type of error also these kind of questions can be there there can be some questions where we have to tell how many times the loop get executed so that kind of question can be asked output based questions will be there it can be based on the string class or maths class like seal floor max bean round sqrt cbrt methods string class can be based on compare to equals uppercase lowercase see there can be many methods of uh, uh, string class okay but i have just written few 
but there can be uh, other methods also which can be asked okay so these are the questions which can, which can be asked in the section a section a is compulsory nothing can be left in that okay yes now we are going to discuss about section b in section b we have to answer any four question out of six questions each question carries 15 marks see in this what we have to do is each program should be written along with variable description that we need to understand this is written here we have to write each program with variable description okay and uh, it's written here that flow charts and algorithms are not required for this so that we have to take care before that i'll tell you how to write variable description here one variable description table i have displayed there will be three columns in that first we write name of variable second column is the data type of the variables and the third one is purpose of the variable why the variable is there in the program then i have declared here a variable with name n then the data type integer and then what is the purpose to store the number given by the user so in this way we write the variable description variable description is very important from the point of view of your uh, program okay now let's go to the questions what kind of question will be asked in uh, the examination because uh, there are some changes in the pattern so that's why we need to discuss it what kind of questions will come and how to select the best four question that's uh, that's what i'm going to tell you all so the very first question of section b is question number three which will be based on class specification class specification means what let us see what is class specification in this kind of question the detail of the class will be given okay like class name the number of variables and what are the methods okay so these things will be given and it will be based on if else if ladder okay where will be certain criteria number of criteria will be given and we have to uh, solve this program this is the easiest program this is the easiest program that can be attempted from uh, my point of view it is the easiest program which you can attempt and uh, we may need to write main methods and we have to create the object it depends on what the question is asking moving on to the uh, fourth question see uh, the question sequence can be changed here i have written on the fourth uh, one dimensional array or single dimensional array where user has to input and uh, there can be sorting and searching question it can be uh, bubble sort or it can be selection sort selection sort uh, which is added this year it was uh, la last year it was only bubble sort this year selection sort is added back and searching linear and binary most probably binary searching uh, should come not linear okay and uh, then it comes what second dimensional array that is 2d array there will be a program based on that like matrix ba matrix based questions like some of the rows and columns and the matrix that kind of questions you have to practice different types of uh, application based on matrix that you need to practice okay then we uh, will go to question six what will what can be the next question as I told, the sequence of the question can be up and down. It, there will be a special number program. Special number means it can be tech number, Armstrong number, strong number, automorphic number, cyclo number, duck number. Okay, or uh, Niven number, neon number. There are different types of number. Any kind of number where we have to use our logic and we have to do. We're using iteration. It will be iteration based. Then there can be a question there will be a question on string input and manipulation string input and manipulation means you have to take string or a sentence from user where we may need to convert to upper case finding the number of words or converting toggling the case changing the uh, upper case to lower and lower to upper there can be different kind of questions on string which uh, there will be and the last one uh, that can be anywhere in the um, section that can be on, on the fourth or fifth anywhere so the last methods okay where it can be what pattern series special number programs it can be okay so first i'll show you some examples of overloading methods this is one of the example of overloading methods uh, where we have to check whether the character is present in the string or not means we have to accept a string or a character second is we have to ask user to enter uh, we have to print all the even numbers from the range x to y this kind of question can be 
okay so i'll show uh, one two more questions based on that see you can see here one more uh, overloaded question overloading method question is here well, so there are three methods overloaded one is pattern one is special number and one is based on string or character now i'll show you some string based questions what kind of questions can be see you can see one example here like accept the string and count number of alphabets lower case upper case this kind of questions are very frequent and it can be asked next one is like uh, we can accept a string and we can display it the string by replacing each vowel by immediate next character like i is a vowel so what is the next character j so it will be replaced by j so this kind of question can be okay so there are different questions which you can see here i am displaying here some different kind of questions which array based questions it can be calculation based like searching sorting changing the order okay so this is what we have different series you can see different series which can be asked under uh, the overloading methods that can be asked so that we need to prepare so that's all for this video if you feel that this video is very useful to you kindly share and to your friends so that they can prepare for their examination well thank you